वेलकम टू वीटीयु शिक्षण प्रोग्राम मै से डॉक्टर वीरेश तोटप मगल वर्किंग ऐस प्रोफेसर इन तोटदार कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरी ई होल हार्टेडली थैंक ई लर्निंग सेंटर वीटीयु फॉर गिविंग मी एन अपॉर्चुनिटी टू शेयर मै नॉलेज रिगार्डिंग इंजीनियरिंग केमिस्ट्री मॉड्यूल थ्री इंजीनियरिंग मटीरियल टॉपिक सी हियर materials uh, are nowadays variety of uh, uh, materials are available for example uh, say polymers ceramics nano materials etc we made our effort uh, to include possiblest uh, innovative materials under this uh, module 3 here polymers okay so in this we are going to study introductory part synthesis and applications of uh, polyurethanes which are very versatile, versatile polymers and uh, polymer composites an uh, introduction to this synthesis of uh, polymer composites properties and applications of uh, kevlar fiber and later we are going to study conducting polymers its introduction synthesis and uh, mechanism of conduction in polyaniline and variety of factors that are going to influence the conductivity of organic polymers and uh, later we will be going for the study of uh, biodegradable polymers here we are going to study the introductory part and uh, their uh, requirements synthesis properties and applications of a uh, polylactic acid which is a biodegradable polymer and nano materials here we are going to study the introductory part of a uh, nano material their size dependent properties like uh, surface area electrical properties optical properties and uh, catalytic properties and thereafter we are moving to the study of synthesis of nano materials so here we are having top down and bottom up approaches like solgel method precipitation method etc nano scale materials are there like uh, fullerenes carbon nanotubes and graphene we are going to have the pondering of uh, these uh, say properties as well as uh, applications of uh, this we are going to uh, discuss about this and this uh, okay so our uh, syllabus related to the module 3 is going to be completed now my dear students as soon as okay we are going to begin with uh, this engineering materials what are engineering materials say if you put a question in front of you you will be having many number of uh, materials in front of you like cement ceramics polymers etc among them nano materials are also there and uh, among these uh, we are going to have polymers conducting polymers and biodegradable biodegradable polymers uh, in our syllabus and uh, here <coughs> these uh, upcoming uh, engineering materials uh, are having variety of engineering applications for example polymer i don't ask you to say where polymers are used just i would like to ask you where polymers are not used to such a greater extent polymers have got their applicability in our day to day life and uh, biodegradable polymer okay so biodegradable polymer we do need in variety of applications okay For especially in the medical field as well as uh, say in uh, food uh, catering uh, field okay so then uh, these composite materials okay so composite materials are also very upcoming right now 
and uh, we are we will be studying Kevlar okay as a example of this uh, polymer uh, polymer composites and uh, basically polymer means it is a material made up of innumerable number of monomers okay so uh, these are uh, uh, monomers are joined together to form a long chain which are uh, repetitive which are having repetitive monomers in them okay so if you just have the look at the classification of polymers okay we can have uh, on different basis uh, we can make the classification like uh, natural uh, polymers or synthetic polymers or thermoplastics and thermo settings likewise okay so <coughs> here among variety of polymers okay like plastics rubbers fibers adhesives and coatings etc we are going to discuss about polyurethanes okay polyurethanes these belong to an important and uh, most versatile family of polymers they receive much attention because of their diversified applications uh, in the engineering polyurethanes are characterized mainly by the repetitive linkage called polyurethane linkage nhcoo this is uh, referred as uh, urethane linkage now <coughs> this urethane linkage okay in the molecule in the uh, main uh, long chain of the polymer okay so if it is uh, existing then it is called as polyurethane they have many a time linear structure and sometimes they are cross linked with another chains depending upon the monomers we are going to choose to form polyurethanes okay and uh, they are uh, usually prepared by the reaction between diisocyanate and a diol or a triol this uh, is a scheme this is a scheme have a look at this scheme this is a okay isocyanate group and uh, this is a bis uh, 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 this is a, a diisocyanate uh, molecule and uh, here you are having diisocyanate here okay methylene bisphenyl diisocyanate this is and this is a polyol okay having a alcohol group here here and here actually this is a oxygen is a electronegative okay so uh, this is a hydrogen here and this hydrogen attacks okay nitrogen here and uh, thus there will be the linkage happens here you are seeing here that you know this h is combined with the nitrogen and uh, this o okay so this double bonded o is attached to the top here and this o will be sticking to the carbon and uh, the chain extends here and uh, the oh group of another si another side will be attacking uh, another uh, you know isocyanate uh, group and uh, the chain grows likewise to form polyurethane okay so <coughs> here variety of applications uh, these polyurethanes are having and uh, they are you know used as elastomers fibers coatings foams etc so as an elastomer okay so they will be used as uh, you know elastomers uh, uh, in the form of in for the basic reason of you know their resistivity towards oil grease etc as well as many corrosive chemicals okay so they uh, for uh, uh, these uh, you know uh, oil grease and corrosive chemicals you know these elastomeric uh, polyurethane are having 
you know uh, resistance for the reaction and therefore they do exist very stably among these uh, you know uh, corrosive chemicals and uh, amid soil and grease okay they are uh, extensively used to tread tire as well as uh, in the industries okay uh, heavy wheels are uh, you know connected uh, uh, by this uh, elastomeric uh, poly uh, polyurethane elastomers and so that you know they can rotate uh, uh, very properly uh, with the help of uh, say oil and grease is used but uh, they this uh, uh, polyurethane won't undergo any degradation or deviation from its originality and uh, this polyurethane can uh, you know it can be exist it can be made in the form of the fiber also parol u it's a typical polyurethane fiber used as you know lightweight uh, garment particularly in the sports field uh, you know these are uh, used to make uh, swimming suits okay so they do have excellent uh, stretching property also and uh, here coatings usually these uh, polyurethane coatings are made over the you know stages where dancing performances are made because uh, uh, these uh, polyurethane coatings they do act as anti jerking uh, say coats uh, you know usually slippery will not be uh, there over the surface where these coatings are applied okay so uh, <coughs> foams here in the form of the foams in the domestic also for the you know making of the pillows or beds you know uh, kurlan bed etc you might be knowing okay so they do have foams in them which are usually made up of polyurethane and then you know in the vehicle uh, segments you know particularly in the seating uh, uh, seats you know they are made up of uh, say this polyurethane foams sofa uh, you know chairs etc they do have foams made up of uh, polyurethane uh, na, right now okay so this is uh, what all about polyurethanes okay so let us have once again the glance over this uh, say polyurethanes okay so polyurethanes are the class of uh, polymeric materials and uh, they do have the urethane linkage okay so urethane linkage is nothing but nh coo repeatedly in the backbone of the polymer chain and uh, this uh, say polyurethane occurs between uh, occurs due to the interaction between you know alcoholic group as well as isocyanate group and hence there will be the urethane bond uh, linkage is going to be formed and the chain grows okay so thus uh, we are going to obtain polyurethanes and these polyurethanes are having diversified applications like uh, you know they are acting as elastomers or fibers coatings as well as uh, say they do uh, use they are used as foams you know so elastomers means they they do have a good elastic property and uh, therefore they are usually you know extensively used in uh, treading the vehicle tires and uh, fibers you know so fibers means a uh, very thin and elongated uh, material uh, which is made up of polyurethane and uh, this uh, extensively used in the sports uh, uh, sports particularly in making garments like uh, swimsuits etc for its uh, flexible property and nature and then uh, coatings coatings you know so uh, they do usually applied over the surface and particularly over the surfaces where jerks are thought to be avoided where the jerks are thought to be avoided there you know the polymer uh, coatings are polyurethane coatings are made and foams you know as i said you know these polyurethanes are uh, existing uh, 
in the foam form also and uh, cushions as well as furnitures both in domestic as well as in the vehicles uh, you know they are extensively used and uh, i think and i hope you have got a complete you know knowledge about the polyurethanes then let us go for the study of uh, polymer composites polymer composites when uh, whenever you just you know listen to this composite material okay so it is a combination of uh, two or more distinct components okay so if uh, the polymer is uh, is one of the component in it okay then those composites are called as polymer composites if uh, wood is one of the wood is also a polymer i agree but if uh, wood is going to be used as one of the components then they are called as wood composites and if any one of the you know component is a metal then they are called as metal composites likewise uh, you know we are now studying polymer composites where you know polymer is one of the say component used uh, in making the composites now <clears throat> okay so this is what uh, you know we wrote uh, we, i wrote here okay when one of the components is a polymer the resulting composite is called a polymer composite while each component retains its identity okay so here when you are making composite the individual identity will not be lost they do retain their originality and their original property but when you know combined uh, together the outcoming resulting composite will exhibit you know a better quality than the individual components that's the say uh, importance of uh, this polymer composite the composite material displays a you know a variety of uh, so properties superior to its apparent constituents that are present in it you know uh, in a variety variety of uh, say properties superior properties in the sense you know they do exhibit a, a very excellent mechanical properties excellent corrosion resistance properties okay so likewise you know you will uh, metal composites so usually they do exhibit excellent uh, corrosion resistance property abrasion resistance property wear and tear resistance property likewise okay so polymer composites are generally made up of uh, two components uh, namely matrix and a fiber okay so the fiber is uh, embedded between the matrix in order to make uh, the matrix very very stronger okay the matrix usually a thermoset uh, material you know like uh, epoxy resin or polyamide okay so this uh, epoxy resin or polyamide they do hold or bind the fibers and the fiber used in making the polymer composite is usually carbon fiber polyethylene as well as uh, you know or else you know kevlar is going to be used to form polymer composites okay so these fiber reinforced composites are stronger as well as lighter so this property is very essential for now nowadays very important because if they are stronger if you take an example of metals if they are stronger they do you know possess a weight a heavy weight also okay we need nowadays the stronger materials having light weight okay so if uh, these are together achieved strength as well as light weight they are having good applicability in making you know uh, lighter uh, vehicles as well as in particularly in aeronautic uh, say field you know light weight uh, uh, helicopters as well as uh, aeroplanes uh, or rockets are going to be you know made with the help of uh, this type of uh, strong and light uh, polymer composite material okay they are often stronger than steel but uh, lesser than the weight of the steel okay hence these composites can be used okay to make a uh, automobile lighter and thus achieving more fuel efficiency as i said okay along with the weight okay so fuel efficiency is also 
associated. Okay, if the lighter, then you know the fuel, whatever the energy we are going to derive it, it will be effectively used for you know uh, having a, a vehicle moved ahead. Okay, so and the pollution will also be very less due to less utility of the fuel. Okay, so here this are uh, say you are you are now seeing these are the layers. Okay. So, these are uh, called as matrix and uh, these matrix are usually made up of uh, epoxy resins or polyamide material and this is a fiber. Okay. This fiber is mainly made up of uh, Kevlar. Okay. So, when these are you know this uh, Kevlar fiber is sandwiched between this polymer matrix the out uh, the outcoming or resulting polymer matrix or polymer composite okay so exhibit a, a very excellent strength okay so compared to the strength of uh, this polyamide as well as fiber okay so uh, this is a, a very very excellent uh, say uh, thing associated with uh, the formation of the polymer composites making use of Kevlar fiber as a say here fiber material. And uh, let us go for the study of uh, applications of uh, these uh, polymer matrix. Okay. So, the fiber reinforced uh, say composites uh, are very good at uh, providing uh, strength to the materials that they are used in all kinds of uh, things. Uh, ranging from car engine component to aeroplane component. Okay, so they are very, you know, lightweight. And um, uh, one of the say important applications is uh, in making boat hulls. Also, these uh, lightweight materials having good strength, they are used. Okay, so now we are coming at the part of uh, you know another when the polymer composites are. Uh, made up of a matrix as well as the fiber. This fiber Kevlar, about this we will try to you know understand what is this Kevlar. Okay. So, Kevlar is an aramid. Okay. So, means a aromatic polyamide. Okay. The chemical composition of a Kevlar is a polyparaphenylene terthalamide. Okay. Aramids belong to the family of a nylons. Nylons were first you know prepared by the DuPont company. Okay. Common nylons such as nylon 66 six, six, do not have very good structural property. So, the incorporation of a para aramid improves the properties. Whatever the negativities associated with the earlier material, they are going to be improved Okay, in the next version of the materials, likewise, you know, nylon six six. Okay, whatever the negative uh, thing associated with this is, uh, you know, it has lost, uh, you know, very good structural dimension or properties. Now, this negative thing of nylon six six is, you know, improved, you know, in the para aramid like, you know, Kevlar. Okay, so here the aramid ring gives. Kevlar, you know, a very very great thermal stability, and then you know the para structure gives it a high strength and modulus. Okay, so let us try to understand uh, the synthetic part of uh, this Kevlar. Okay, so it is uh, synthesized by the condensation polymerization of one four benzene dicarboxylic acid and 1,4 diamino benzene. Okay. So, here you see 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 4 okay. benzene dicarboxylic COOH is a carboxylic group dicarboxylic acid. Okay, this is uh, you know called as ter terphthalic acid also, and here one four di benzene diamine 
okay so is uh, used as one of the monomers and here there will be the interaction of uh, say COH and NH2 group and uh, here this uh, you know linkage is happening here between these two moieties to form okay Kevlar material and uh, this is aramid group and uh, this is uh, the polymerization uh, here <coughs> due to this uh, polymerization reaction uh, when you are going to have the Kevlar okay so the properties associated with this are very very you know uh, interesting to understand okay as uh, it is seen from the repeated unit of uh, structure of the Kevlar benzene rings are linked to the amide linkage therefore Kevlar is a very very rigid polymer and intermolecular forces are you know uh, associated uh, uh, in these you know they do link uh, the neighboring chains in the Kevlar and hence the Kevlar becomes very very stronger and uh, stronger to the extent that you know five times more than the steel okay so <coughs> If you would like to, you know, proper understand the properties of Kevlar, really you know, they are very fascinating. Kevlar possesses high tensile strength and uh, high modulus of elasticity, and more importantly, they do have lightweight and uh, chemically almost they are inert. They are very very less reactive and uh, they are having low coefficient of thermal expansion means due to the heat they will not expand rapidly like metal they will not be you know contrast rapidly as that of the metal due to the variation in the temperature in the environment this property is very much essential for usage of this Kevlar in a uh, the cold condition as well as extreme cold condition as well as in the extreme hot condition and the high impact resistance due to this high impact resistance property okay one can uh, make use of kevlar fiber in making a bulletproof uh, say uh, uh, jackets and uh, it can be very easily used to make you know textiles and it has got a very excellent uh, processability and uh, it has got a you know flame resistance property also all these properties associated with the Kevlar are going to lead us to make use this in diversified way okay therefore applications are also very very uh, interesting to understand okay so this Kevlar is mainly used as a reinforcing uh, material to form the composite and uh, then it is used as a reinforcement to make you know tires and uh, rubbers because tires they need flexibility as well as they need toughness okay both are associated with the, this Kevlar and therefore it is used in making of uh, this uh, co uh, t uh, this uh, tire as well as uh, rubber coating and in industry they are used as cables okay so cables are very much essential for uh, you know uh, uh, industry for industrial purposes variety of uh, you know uh, applications they do got uh, in the industry and uh, asbestos uh, replacement and in brake lining brake linings uh, automotive industry in particularly okay so when brake is applied uh, the vehicle should stop and here uh, high quantity of uh, heat is going to be you know generated due to immediate uh, braking brake apply application and that time you know the material should not experience failure and it has to sustain high mechanical uh, you know uh, strength and uh, it has to uh, resist a high heat generated during the applications of the braking and therefore you know there the Kevlar materials are extensively used and they are used as body armor also okay body armor means uh, 
uh, they do you know cow if uh, the you know kevlar is uh, used as a you know uh, jerkin or a shirt okay so uh, bullet will not be piercing inside okay so whenever uh, the uh, people like particularly you know soldiers they do wear it okay or police authority they do wear it okay used in uh, plastic reinforcement for uh, boat hulls and uh, aeroplanes as well as in the bicycles kevlar is a well known component of uh, personal armor such as combat helmets ballistic face mask etc okay so uh, combat helmet means uh, usually these are used by the soldiers uh, if they, whenever they are in the say forest as well as in the tough uh, say environmental situations okay they do face uh, you know much of the uh, say uh, physical uh, 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 forces or operating over them then you know they can be easily you know uh, avoided by the wearing of combat helmets and uh, ballistic face mask and uh, you know usually in the mining also these uh, face masks uh, made up of kevlar are used okay so uh, with this uh, okay so once again i would like to you know uh, glance over the polymer composites polymer composites means uh, here two components are there one of them is a polymer and uh, another one is a fiber and then there will be the formation of the polymer composite and then in the formation of uh, you know polymer composite uh, we are going to make use of polyamide as well as this kevlar polyamide acts as the matrix and uh, this kevlar is uh, going to be acting as the fiber and the, the, uh, this fiber is going to be sandwiched to form the polymer composite this polymer composite possesses the different uh, property than the individual constituents that are used to make okay so polymer composite and uh, variety of applications we have discussed already and kevlar is a, a material you know belonging to the aromatic polyamide class and uh, which is also called as aramid and uh, aramid uh, you know it is basically related to nylon family and nylon family they do suffer structural property and uh, they were not at all possessing good structural property in order to avoid that one you know this uh, para aramid uh, uh, like a kevlar has got improvement in its st structural property and uh, the synthesis part of this para aramid uh, or kevlar is very easier and here this carb uh, carboxylic acid as well as you know amine uh, amide uh, amine they do interact each other to form the polymer called as kevlar here and uh, the kevlar you know if when it is cross linked its uh, you know strength goes on increases and uh, the uh, properties associated with the the kevlar we have studied and uh, we have understood that it has got a high tensile strength modulus of elasticity lightweight material and it has uh, got a very excellent chemical resistance and it has got low coefficient uh, coefficient of thermal expansion and a high impact resistance and textile processability and the flame resistance okay so all these properties are you know making you know this particular polymer that is kevlar and a useful uh, you know useful one in uh, having uh, diversified applications uh, like you know uh, in uh, trading the tires and in uh, the industry to make as in, uh, in in making cables and then in break uh, in making brake liners as well as a body armor and uh, used uh, as a plastic uh, reinforcement for making the boat hulls okay and in bicycles and uh, kevlar is you know uh, extensively used in making armors uh, okay personal armors like you know 
combat helmets as well as in the ballistic face mask. Okay. So, with this uh, okay, we would like to conclude this particular session and in our next class we would like to study about conducting polymers. Thank you.